So in control versus Marine Shield. It's going to be a TVP, so slightly bit different than we normally see on the Sea Zerg map. So uh, stay tuned, guys. So I hope you enjoyed today. It's been a been a long day so far, but there's a diamond match, so it'll be a it'll be a more more beasty here. So we have a uh, settled in complete playing our last two games, having a immortal push. It was a fantastic timing, and again caught the Zerg player off guard completely. So uh, see how it goes. So on the top left corner in Frost, we have our Zealots Protoss player incomplete. And then on our bottom right hand corner, we have a Terran Blue Terran player, Marine Shield from Fridge. So a uh, slightly larger map than we both see um, in previous. Um, again, there's a four player map. It's probably spend a lot more time in scouting and obviously if you think about a quick early push will be a slightly harder. Um, but it's definitely a, a, a much interesting map that we can see. We see a lot more macro style in here. Um, but in the CVP it could happen. Anything could happen. So quite early scout again from, uh, from in control. A little funny probe running around um, in the map. Scouted down south first. And Marine Shield obviously just doing a standard CVP. I uh, wonder whether we will open Reaper first. Uh, which is a good map choice. I think the Reaper and that early scout will be very important. So again, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys all enjoy today uh, streaming. Uh, if there's any problem regarding the, uh, the the quality of the stream or any lag or anything like that, then please let me know. Um, I'm more than happy um, to to fine tune it to suit to, to all the viewers. Um, here we go. We can see uh, um, quite a quick CC expand first. Nice probe scout. So you see that. Uh, now let's see what's the Protoss reaction. It's still kind of boosting a lot of probe. Mining gas. Only two though. Two, two, two mining gas. Oh, double Barrett opening. I reckon it could be a free Barrett opening. And then give like a little, little aggression play. So they scouted it, the probe definitely scouted it, so good choice there. But having that such an early um, CC is definitely very, very important. Right, here we go, is a time for the pro uh, the talent player to scout. I mean that intel is very important. The next has been put down now. Double orbital command. It's good. Oh, we're missing an SCV losing there. Oh, he's probably about a nice little micro there from uh, <laughs> from Marine Shield. Taking off that probe. So again, he's researching, but he's not corner boosting out. Still getting a lot of probe. Try to get the economy advantage first. Before you throw down the tag. The Marines obviously still producing quite nicely. Having the mothership called dancing around in the natural. To deny any early scout. So let us see if you can see one one gateway only. You didn't see the robo at the back. So it's still a similar tech pattern again compared to the Zerg game, but I would suggest they're probably quite a quick closest sort of um, play style this time, rather than Immorto. But, you know, maybe he's just good at Immorto pushed. He could be doing the same serious damage, but it's definitely the same build, similar build order, I would say. Not corner, not corner boosting at all on the, um, on the ramp gates. And they're seeing some stalker been producing, could be a free little stalkers with. Oracle pushed. Uh, we held back on the um, 
the Terran player a little bit. Engineering been fired down, so we'll just see a steam researching. Yep, steam researching going on now. Uh, another racks been put down, so three racks so far. Taking the gas. Both players obviously he's facing a diamond player now. He's you know making sure that he's not messing up. He's just making sure everything's right. Getting an observer. Oh, he's gone for a twilight council. So two observers been put out on the map so getting a lot of good intel and quick you know map vision might be a blink stalk play I would suggest okay so we're researching stim there's a marauder into the game the factory's been gone down so we should have this is a med effect shortly observers should see a lot of things Yeah, there we go. Blink researching now. It's kind of boosting the blink, so hopefully we'll might see a, a blink timing pushed. No forge yet for the uh, Protoss player, so I would suggest there's no upgrade uh, plus one blink all in sort of thing. It might be just a standard blink for defensive purposes for oil, and then going to a third later. But he's, he's wrapping in quite a decent amount of units. And get in the road potted bay and go for a blink colossus yep starport's going down it's seeing the economy wise it's 44 SEV against 42 probe right it's pushing out now so the observers definitely see that so he's reacting to it now whether he's got time to corner boost out a, a Colossus is another story. But he's um it's a bit supply block at the moment, incomplete. We want to make sure that, that um, pylon's in it's been sorted. He's put a two pylon down, but I don't know whether it's got any time to just hold his push. Mother Chip is obviously the key and scouting this. Steam is gonna just finishing, the combat shield is gonna get halfway done. So it's a little poking through. I don't think it was engaged. Oh no, you push it straight in, you engaged it, this force tool has done really well to capture that. You just have to trade with all those units and get the maximum out of this push. So yeah, definitely not worth that trade. So he's instantly pulled out all his reinforcement. Definitely. Right. Thumb thermal glands getting researched now so halfway through so we should see something more to instantly you need to start thinking about getting viking uh, it's got some two med effect so production has obviously been kicked in for the Terran player but uh, and we got a plus one upgrade and not started plus two as yet so as soon as the immortal comes out this marines and marauders is going to melt quite quickly Getting his plus one weapon upgrade at the moment. Uh, that's hopefully that will bring in a lot more potential in a late game against him for Protoss. Third has instantly gone down. You feel very comfortable. The third can go down. I drag on a little bit. Put another two more gates in in a minute, and then just push it in. There we go. Another gate in there. Observers are seeing literally everything here. Units are spread out, so he's getting pre-ready. For any immorto pushed, I would suspect. You probably noticed that. We've got we're getting two Viking now and then another Stargates in production, so hopefully we'll get uh, quite a few stop um Viking counts so kicking into a quite a macro game. We need to start thinking about getting his third and getting this third start mining and to get more productions in place for Marine Shield. Or else as soon as this third is kicked in. Production tabs have gone gone in, so it will be very scary. This push is already scary enough. Funny enough, it's only once you know, one century. So, don't think Marine Shield's got to have massive difficulty dealing with it. But again, there is Blink Stalker. The Blink Stalker could seriously do a lot of damage here. It is nightly spread in pre-split, which I really like. The proxy pylons are already in place, so as soon as th these is going to be quite a big fight, it's going to be ready. There's no storm. There's no storm, which is a good thing for the uh, for Marine Shield. But again, these stalk counties are just going to be wrapping up sky high, and as soon as the plus two weapon is complete, there will be going to be a push. 
So hopefully this 1-1 one, one army is going to be silent. It's not bad here to engage, but you need to you need to make sure you don't clock them up. Losing the mothership of course is quite big. And losing those engagement are oh, on a high level playground. We should push now. We should see a push coming from Marine Shield. He's sniping off one unit by one unit. Those Marauder are doing a fantastic job here. Sniping the proxy pylon. The Viking need to catch those in um, oh, I've seen those Colossus going down instantly. It is so crucial. This third is not going to hold. Sentry be warping. Here we go. The production's kicked in and the Marines are steaming forward. This Blink Stalkers is definitely at the back side of the table. We have 123 units count against 17 in complete. Are we going to see this Cirque player going? This Protoss player going down? We need to put some force on this ramp and hold for the best. This Mortal is still doing a little bit of work. But this is the crucial timing. You should start thinking about either push him and kill him. Or whether he's just damage his third and a macro up. He needs to make the right decision right here at this moment. So the Viking can pop up to the top, concave around a little bit. Yeah. I like really like his Viking positions in the corner. Taking down that Colossus. That is so nice. Picking them off. But need to be careful, don't want to lose those Viking. Oh, they can stim him forward, take a kid in the natural, which is perfect. Oh, he's flipping those units and again getting the high ground vision is so good. Ah, oh, it is stormed in. He say, I'll ignore you, I'll pull back, I'll take your Nexus down. And I'm going to keep running units for you. What is the Protoss doing now? He's going to drop in a few more Stalkers and keep corner boosting out as much as um, Colossus now. So he's steaming forward with just pure Marada. Oh my god, this is actually a miracle. 1-1 one, one timing. Just destroy the Protoss player. Next has gone down. He's still got a, a grand and a half in his bank. Again, losing this vitals units and the Viking count was perfect to engage in the right spot to engage. GG. So wow, nice play by Marine Shield here. Very nice play, nice read, nice timing. Um, he's doing things correctly. Um, yeah, that was that was quite a very good game actually. Really enjoyed that.